Hi, this is Brian with King Grizzly, and I wanted to show people, we put together a new site for ourselves, um, but I wanted to talk more about the tools we used and how we put it together and how they were helpful to us during this incredibly sort of stressful time in the world, in the business world especially. So I know lots of groups put out their new website and like to brag about it. And we're, you know, we're happy with, with what we put together, um, but you know, our perspective is always that we're just iterating, so it's just another step forward and, and no site is, is complete in a sense. Um, but I want to show the tool set we used and how it enabled us to actually manage to get something new out the door um, in case that's interesting to other people. And we did use the Elementor page builder for WordPress. Um, so for those who follow our Elementor tutorials, uh, I thought I'd just show a couple quick things. So a walkthrough, um, you can see we've got some floating pieces, animating, moving around. Um, we have you know some, some typical things, customer testimonials, some work examples, um, a little bit of uh, drifting on some of these elements, and a lot of SVGs, which are vector graphics that should load faster um, and not pixelate. So uh, just click on a couple pages just to give a rough idea. There's really not much to the site right now. List of services, um, more moving parts, customer testimonial, um, and then the work section, which in our previous site, we never updated our case studies because it was too much of a hassle. We had built these very custom graphics and it was just too much. We're, you know, we're busy, we're working for our clients. We don't have time to be making elaborate case studies. Um, so now um, we're basically just using some easy screenshots. And then when you get to a simple case study, there's a, a pop-up video with a YouTube video. So you kind of get to double dip on YouTube and then our own site. And then just a quick overview of the project, um, what the need was, some of the features we put together. And then we just elected to have a simple gallery, no gimmicks. Uh, it's just it's just a gallery. So if you click on something and it just pops up in a little light box and you can browse that way. A little customer testimonial. So, and you can see more flying parts. So, let's take a look just at the home page. So here is the home page in the back end, and this is actually a WordPress site, uh, but we are using a Visual Builder for those who haven't seen recent Visual Builders for WordPress. They're pretty nice. I mean, it, it truly is visual, so I can actually move my tools out of the way here and get an idea of what the final site's going to look like. Bring my tools back. You know, this is a huge step forward from the past. Um, this really helped us because yes, we know how to code uh, at King Grizzly and we do when we need to, um, but sometimes you don't need to. And also when trying to empower a team of marketers, they don't want to be digging through code. You know, same with designers, they want to be able to work. So the same applies to us. If we, if it can be easier, you know, to work on a site, we're all for it. Um, so we were able to put our pages together using this visual builder. It actually allows us to preview the tablet and we can even click on things. So like I could click on something on tablet, go to style and adjust the typography there if I wanted to. Um, same with mobile. So I get an idea of how this is gonna look on the phone. I can go back to desktop. Another neat, neat option we had here is there's this new uh, global theme style. So I can click on theme style and I can actually set my typography uh, for the entire site from here. So link colors, H1. So if I click on typography, I can control the size of my fonts um, and the styling uh, for all my H tags. I can style buttons that way. So these are like the defaults for things like forms. This is all centralized. So if I update it, it'll update the whole site. And I can even put in a little CSS, which I did write some, um, not a whole lot. Um, we really just don't have to write a lot of styling, typically um, using this tool. Um, and then I can exit this theme styler. Um, so really slick, it helped us. We were able to build this kind of on the side while we were busy with client work and just sort of figuring out the world at the current moment. Um, so that's this page. And then I'll go ahead and flip over to a case study. So here's one. Um, and you can see we've got you know, some of these sort of flying pieces around. Uh, another nice feature here in this visual builder is we have a navigator, sort of like Photoshop layers, you know, you, the hero, if I click on that, it's this first section and I can, I can look inside of it. There's a column and then I have 
the square. So I actually, I dragged an image in there and I was able to set the positioning of it. And I'm using something called absolute positioning, um, which is still a bit technical admittedly, but you can do it visually, which that's really nice. So I could actually, I could mess with the positioning of that just with a slider. Um, and the way I got it over there to the left is um, I can choose, you know, right, left, where do I want this to align on the page, you know, top, bottom, and then I can offset by pixels, percentage, vertical height, different things. And it's all inside of this hero section um, where I made sure to set that section to full width and then zero out the margin and padding. What this means is when I set my images, like this confetti on the left, when I set them to absolute left, it really is going to be the left side of the browser all the way over on the left. It's not going to be like the left side of an inner container. Um, so for, for designers, I think if you didn't know this, that's an exciting thing to learn, right? And you can see the pieces move. Well, the way they move is under advanced motion effects, you can turn on scrolling effects. So I have a, a vertical scroll effect. So I can just tell it, you know, how much do I want this confetti to drift at what speed, vertically, horizontally, it can rotate. So you can see like the yellow and green confetti on the left there, they actually rotate a bit. Um, really fun, you know, we can add splashes like this and they're vector graphics. So they're not, you know, they're not asking a lot um, since they're just vector, they're not big files or anything. Mm -hmm. And then this is just a simple gallery. So you click on the gallery and I can click here and just add or subtract images. I can caption them, I can do different things and they'll just automatically justify into sort of like a masonry grid. And then finally we built this little you know, customer testimonial with more flying images and we made sure to style for the different sizes. So that's probably pretty good. There's a, you know, there's a little more going on, but as you can see, it's a very simple site and, you know, we're, you know, we're a small sort of boutique agency, um, but we're not doing anything incredibly fancy, right? You know, we follow up an organized process and we do high quality work, um, but the, the bar um, is lowered with a tool like Elementor and that's good for everybody. Um, so there's, a lot of neat projects can be done at a probably lower cost and faster than previous to achieve uh, you know quality along this line with you know animations and mobile flexibility so um, thanks for checking this out if you're interested in our elementor learning tutorials please consider subscribing to our channel on YouTube. And of course, if you are interested in some help with a digital or marketing project, we're always happy to talk. All right. Thanks. Have a good day.